All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to finish a wing. Instead of doing invisible fasten off like we did for the beak of our plushie, we are actually going to crochet the opening of our piece completely closed. So to start off, we are going to make a slip stitch. Now for that, let's take our stitch marker out as we do not need it anymore. Now insert your hook under that horizontal V that was marked by our stitch marker. And now you should have three strands of yarn on your hook. Now yarn over and bring that yarn through all the loops on your hook. So now you should be left with just one loop on your hook. Now let's move on to creating a chain stitch. Now do a yarn over and then pull that yarn through only the loop that's currently on your hook. This will leave you with just one loop on your hook. All right, now let's move forward with our process. So what we want to do at this point is to flatten our piece as we are going to be uh, crocheting this piece together. Let's identify that first horizontal V that we have. And before we insert our hook into it, let's take a count to make sure we have eight Vs. So next up, we want to insert our hook under that first horizontal V that we have. But we are not gonna stop here. We also need to insert our hook under the very last, which is number eight V that we have. And now it looks like we have five strands of yarn on our hook. Now do a single crochet stitch like you normally would. The only difference is how many loops you are pulling your yarn through. And now you should be left with two loops on your hook. Now yarn over again and pull through both loops on your hook. We will repeat this process three more times, a total of four times as we have eight horizontal Vs. So this time, insert your hook into both the number two and the number seven stitches, which are across from each other. And then go ahead and make a single crochet stitch. Repeat this again by inserting your hook under both the number three and number six stitches and complete the same process. For the last set, use the number four and number five in the same exact manner. All right, now we're all done with crocheting the opening of our wing together and let's move on to the next step. Next, let's grab our scissors and cut our yarn. Uh, you'll want the length of your yarn to be at least double the length of your wing. And since it's relatively short length, I prefer to leave about six inches from the last stitch. And the last step is you want to hold on to your yarn as usual Then yarn over and pull the yarn through the loop on your hook. Keep pulling it away from your piece until the yarn forms a knot. All right, you're all done with joining the wing and next up we're going to attach that wing to our plushie. 